here are all India Profession Congress uh, members were wanting and they wanted to know because some of uh, people like us, we came into the you know, cold looking at your appeal to you know, bring the professionals in the political domain. But before I go on to the last question, one question that I can't stay away from is the fact that I've seen you advocating the teachings of Rama and Mahabharata, and you, you have off late gone on record on saying that we should have done much more to promote these in our curriculum. In a way that we have a, I think we have a science and technology minister or somebody who keeps coming up with new theories against yeah. Darwin and Newton every day in his own ways. Do you think, you know, and when, when Dr. Thanouf comes and says, as a member of parliament says, this is what we should have said, they say, look, the gentleman is saying the same thing what we're saying. Not exactly the same. Let me say that, uh, yeah, I do believe that, you know, we, we should be teaching the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. So just, the in which, just in the way in which a Western school child will learn the Odyssey and the Iliad, I would not teach these as sacred texts. In fact, the classroom, one can see, yes, some people worship some of the characters in these epics. We're teaching these two as epics. These are great cultural <coughs> stories in our civilization. And that every Indian, irrespective of religious faith or lack of faith, should be able to derive some pleasure and some instruction, some knowledge. And that these stories should come into your frame of reference. That's all I, I remember uh, uh, when I was a student at Delhi University, um, there was this um, junior doctor strike. And the junior doctor strike, Dr. Karan Singh, who's become a very dear friend since, was the health minister. And they wanted him to intervene, and he refused to see them. So after a while, posters came up all over the university campus saying, are you Karan or Tumba Karan? <laughs> <laughs> I told him the story. Now, if you, if you don't know who Tumba Karan was, you miss out on the entire political uh, message there. In other words, these are things, simple references that come into the cultural discourse. Uh, and it's silly not to be able You go to an English medium school in India, you never know who Tumba Karan is, uh, because certainly we can read books and these stories are not being told you will get research and stories from Western imagination and not from the other. <laughs> Similarly, Kalidas, uh, I think that you know, Shakespeare is an absolutely great playwright, but how many of us educated in English have the slightest idea of the greatness of Kalidas? Um, again, there are very good translations available. It's not that you have to be a Sanskrit Vidwan to appreciate Kalidas. But when you see the magnificence of his poetry, his metaphors, his allusions, his language, and his storytelling, <coughs> And we also know that a very tiny fraction of his work has survived. Maybe 5% of Kalidas is actually found in the life of him. He's lost so much of this great person. We should all be growing up in this country conscious of the greatness that is part of our cultural patrimony. So in that sense, I think that uh, we have all erred a bit in losing out the opportunity to make Indians proud of their own past. Now you talk about science. Obviously, it's absurd for Satyapal Singh to say that uh, you know, no one has seen an ape turn into a man, because obviously that's meant to be a process that takes a million years of yeah. evolution. No one lives long enough to see an ape turn into a man, but he hasn't realized. Uh, and there have been, I, I have, if you're interested, I can Google my article on Project Syndicate called India's War on Science. It's actually Modi's War on Science. <laughs> because Modi, after all, did say, did say that you know, Ganesh's head yeah. on the elephant's yeah. body, the elephant's head on a human body shows that uh, we had plastic surgery. <laughs> now, if you think for a brief second, I don't know how many of you have seen elephants, I happen to be together, but we see them every day. Uh, the smallest imaginable elephant head and the largest conceivable human neck. <laughs> and can they possibly be? <laughs> and then you realize this is not an educated mind at work. <coughs> but the irony is, in saying these preposterous things, what the BJP elements are actually doing is discrediting the real achievements of Indian science. Because you know what? India was the country that invented plastic surgery. India, the first known surgeon in human history, Shushuta, yeah. the first known surgical uh, instruments found in archaeology are Indian instruments from the first century AD. There is textual evidence in Sanskrit of the first plastic surgery operations, the rhinoplasty, <coughs> surgery of the nose. Now, this is done 2,000 years ago in India. These are things we can be proud of. Instead, you talk about Ganesha's head and the entire uh, credibility of your history of plastic That's surgery. That's a medical college. 
Yes. <laughs> so this is the problem. We have extraordinary accomplishments. Aryabhatta anticipated the findings of Galileo, Kepler, Copernicus, 700, 800 years before any of them. <coughs> and we don't know enough about that. All we study in our textbooks is, is, is all these studies. In fact, the Rig Veda has a pretty approximate uh, description of gravity, 1,500 years before the apple fell on uh, Newton's head. Uh, but we are not aware of these achievements, and it's partly our own fault, because instead of these real achievements, we're talking about Pushpa you know, jetting around the world and, uh, and, and, and elephant heads on plastic surgery. So to my mind, it's what's, what's very necessary to do is to recapture the real accomplishments of the past, so Indians grew up with pride in their past, but also to discredit the far-flung nonsensical versions which this government sadly has been encouraging and peddling even at the Indian Science Congress, which, right. which became rightly an issue of major Congress. आप देख रहे हैं रेड नेटवर्क आपसे गुजारिश है यूट्यूब पर रेड नेटवर्क से जुड़ने के लिए इस सब्सक्राइब बटन पर क्लिक करें सब्सक्राइब बटन के साथ ही घंटी बनी हुई है उस पर जरूर क्लिक करें ताकि जब भी हम नया वीडियो अपलोड करें आपको तुरंत इसकी जानकारी मिल जाए और आप लगातार जुड़े रहें रेड नेटवर्क के साथ